Joining us now, we welcome to the show Congressman French Hill and Congresswoman Kat Kamek. It's great to have you both on. Okay, Congresswoman Kamek, I'd like your response to this. We're going to, Congressman French, just sit tight. We're going to get you in a second. Uh, Congressman Lance Gooden of Texas, legislation. He wants the White House to probe Russian interference in U.S. energy. How bad is this problem? How deep is it? Well, and that's just the thing, Liz. We don't know. That's why Lance Gooden's legislation is so critical. If these environmental groups have nothing to hide, then they should be more than willing to open up their books and disclose all their foreign donations. Because let's be clear, the evidence is pretty damning that the Russian Federation has been funding the environmental groups that then turn around and discredit the American production of our energy. And I think if you are a critical infrastructure, you should have a right to know that your activist groups that are against you are funding the research and who yeah. out there is doing that. That's why this is so important. And Congressman Hill, to the Congresswoman's point, this has been an open secret in Europe for years that Russia has been funding anti-fracking activists to destroy the fracking industry in Europe and that Russia's Putin doesn't like U.S. fracking at all. Are the Congressman Hill, do you think there should be hearings into this? Are you going to have hearings? Because, should, you know, the, the climate activist groups are saying, we're not involved in any funding from Russia, but they're not opening their books. We absolutely should have hearings on it. It's very important to have that transparency, as Congresswoman Kamak pointed out. The bottom line is the most strategic weapon that we have in our arsenal is our abundant natural gas in this country. We have 38 billion barrels of untapped oil reserves, and we have 50 a billion cubic feet more of natural gas we could produce. That lowers prices for our consumers and that helps our allies in Europe and defeats Putin's blackmail capability over the continent. Yeah, let it, let it rip, right? To the congressman's you point, bet. Congressman Will McCammock, just let it rip and just like this, stick it to Putin, right? Absolutely. Bring, bring Absolutely. fracking, U.S. fracking to Europe's doorstep. What do you say? Absolutely. 100%. This is a critical energy national security issue. That's why just today I introduced a bill, the Small Scale Access LNG, which exports our LNG abundance that we have here overseas. This is a national security concern. We need to be stepping in, and that's what this bill does. And uh, Congress, uh, Congressman Hill, he is one of the incredible co-sponsors on this le legislation. He's number 30. We're going to get this bill across the finish line because this is what our domestic producers expect. They expect to be able to have their energy here at home, yeah. but also overseas. But getting back to the climate groups, Congressman Hill, Congressman Gooden says climate groups if they get funding from overseas, they should register as foreign lobbyists. You know, they actively lobby Congress for legislative action, promote policies. They've been known to organize and pay operatives to disrupt, disrupt U.S. energy operations. I mean, Congressman Gooden sent a letter to the Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen. He wants the Treasury Department to investigate and to release support on what's going on with foreign funding of climate activists. You know this, Congressman. I mean, climate activists have stopped fracking in New York, Washington, Maryland, and in California the moving in. Exactly. And what you're doing when you do that, and that's why I support the full investigation of this, is you're misinforming people who have climate as their top issue because going to natural gas is the cleanest way to reduce the carbon footprint. Just this week, China announced a 690 million ton uh, coal reserve and additional new production of 300 million tons of coal per year. This completely offsets all the renewable things that we've done. That's why natural gas is the most important strategy we can pursue to defeat Russia and have a low carbon footprint. And it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot cleaner than Russia's energy, right? Russia 100%, is dirty. 40 percent cleaner. Yeah, we hear you. And Congresswoman, you know, we spent millions of dollars several years investigating Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. The president, Tr president Trump was exonerated. We could spend a fraction of that to find out the negative impact of what's going on with Russia funding environmental groups to go after U.S. energy. Absolutely. And think about this. Some of the other mainstream media outlets are saying that this is fake news and that these environmental groups are saying this is there's absolutely no truth to this. If that's the case, they should have no problem opening up their books and being transparent. I agree with my colleague French Hill. The 118th Congress starting next year is going to be one for accountability and transparency. This will come to pass. We will get to the bottom of it and people will find out that Russia has been influencing these activist groups in the halls of Congress and back home amongst the grassroots groups.
Congressman French Hill, Congresswoman Kat Kamek, come back again soon. And Congressman Hill, I promise you will get the last word next time, okay? Happy St. <laughs> Patrick's Day to you. Thanks, Liz. Okay, it's good to Happy see you St. both. Happy St. Patty's Day. Okay.